Hey, what's up guys? So I have added a few more things to my Dell trailer here. Let's see if I can remember all the things I added since my last video. So I added this toolbox here. It's a nice little latch. You can open it up. Let's have a look inside it right now. It's completely empty. You can see the whole thing is riveted together. It didn't come out looking quite as nice as I was hoping, but I think it's fairly suitable for this trailer build. And I've got a little gas can on the end of it on this side. And it's just held on by four screws in the bottom there. So the next thing I added there's a few more D-rings. Got a couple up in the front here, as you can see. And then I've got a few on the sides, just hanging off. Not sure about adding some to the back. I would like to do that, but just not sure of the placement yet. Well, I have also taken off the zip ties and just made my own little metal clamps for the leaf springs here. As you can see, I also have added some lights and wiring to the bottom here. It, uh, it was fairly, it turned out fairly well. I was able to hide almost all of the wiring between the frame and the, um, um, and the decking. As you can see here, I did use a few of these little plastic clips to hold the wires a little bit better in a few areas, but overall it was a very nice installation. I was originally going to just house a battery in here for the lights. I mean, now it's empty. You can obviously see that I have not done that. Instead, I have my power lead coming out here, just like on a real trailer. So this will get powered off of my SCX-10 towing rig. Let's just get that hooked up right now so we can see the lights. Not sure if I'll have enough room for this. Just give me a second here and I'll get this all set up. I just didn't have the room on the table, so let's just do it out here. So let's get the vehicle hooked up. Plug in the power wires. Plug in the battery on the SCX-10. Turn the power on. And we have lights. Side running light, another side running light, and tail lights. Same on the other side. Let's turn out the lights and see how it looks in the dark. That's not looking too bad in the dark. So I also added the stand up front here. It just uh, stays up here by having some pressure via this little second plate there. Just hold it up nice and tight there. And the other thing I did was a little bit more work on my load binders. Let me just pull this bottom one off so I can show you guys. I've changed up, up the hooks on them. So they now just slot right onto the chain really nicely. See if I can show you. Just like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this update to my trailer. This is the first RC trailer I ever built. I think it came out pretty well. If you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, make sure to leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.